<laughs> Working out here today for veteran tree care out in Olympia. We've got two pretty tall firs to do. Tree, tree service. Or <laughs> I did? It's veteran tree service, sorry. <laughs> My bad, veteran tree service. And we've got these two firs to do, and Randy's here today. Oh, oh. now I can't use it. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I can't use it. So it's it's these two firs. I'm gonna do this one, Tim's gonna do that one. Remember Tim, Tim learned how to do tree work from YouTube. He never had a job at a tree service or anything. He literally watched YouTube videos and he's like a legit tree guy now. Here's Eric over here. And they're making they're making a YouTube video too. Well, not not as good as this one, of course. But uh, you you can check that one out too if you want. Veteran tree service, not tree care. They just got this new chipper, it's a BC fifteen hundred. So big old fifteen inch Vermeer. Still got the flaps on it. And this is cool. This is he actually has a new chip truck that's coming, but it's not here yet. I think he said something like he spent $2,000 for this dump bed, the $3,000 for this dump bed and $2,000 on the box. And so he's just been rocking this chip truck in the back of his F-350. Super clever, it's awesome. So the whole setup was about five grand for that thing. I just think that's really cool. Tim is full-time active duty military. So he does tree service full-time and he works on the base. And he's been doing it for about three years. So pretty cool. He's got a brand new chip truck, brand new chipper, but this, I just thought that was awesome. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll get after it here. Kind of kind of tall furs. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you need uh, rig wise? I don't know yet. Are, are these the rigs from right here? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I do have all that stuff. Well, kind of, um, if it's just a few branches, I might just lower them myself. Yeah. Off of your your own rope, or yeah. you want me to grab you a burner? I feel like I ruined kind of your depends. rope the other day. Like, once I get up there, if I can throw most of them, I'll just rig with my <laughs> climbing line. But if it's like, if I have a bunch to do, I'll ask you for my, uh, you know where it is. Hey, is your Cena on? Uh, it will be here. I haven't synced with anybody since you. I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> I've, I've synced with another person. Oh, too. Oh, okay, I'm going to step away. Wow. I thought we had I something special. To. I didn't want to. <laughs> but we're here, so we can look past that. <laughs> we can rebuild. <laughs> yeah, we'll just never talk about it again. That's the old school zigzag, isn't it? Yeah. Like the. Like yeah. That one's the, be the, better. The newer ones are. I've never used the newer ones. I have a newer one. It's like way. Way bigger. Way fatter. Yeah. That was a great technique. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what you want to do is rip it through. Use I'm your at teeth. What, what you might not know about me is I'm actually part beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Come from a long line of. <laughs> no Chewers. Of beavers. <laughs> yeah. Bring the rain. I'm uh by the time you see this video folks, I will have probably given the saw away already. I'm uh this is this month's giveaway. I give a saw away every month. To enter all you do is go to sappysupplies.com. This one will probably be gone by the time you see this video, but this thing's awesome. It's ported by Redbeard Saws. It's so light. Oh you got the battery one? Yeah. You like that? I like it because I can talk and Yeah. I, I like that better than this saw, I just Want to use it? Asked you to bring me uh, the smaller Kirk uh, bar and chain. I would just pay for it when you brought it here. Uh, I was like, nah, whatever. I get that a lot actually. It's kind of cool. I'm like always wheeling, dealing gear. <laughs> I just didn't want to get like a bunch of chains for it and everything. I just I'll stick with this. But. Yeah, that thing's awesome. I like this little thing. I kind of don't want to give it away. I could just lie. I could just be like, okay, I gave it away. This is an identical one. And I'd be like, yeah, this is a different 
2511. I get, totally gave that one away, guys. <laughs> Jesus, well, I, I ported this one. I got an easier tree, which is my, I, I excel at the easy ones, <laughs> I've noticed. You probably can't tell, but there's like a really steep embankment right there. And so Tim is gonna lower his stuff. Tim making his way less exciting YouTube video. <laughs> Tim's gonna watch my video. I'm just like bashing him the whole time. Stupid Tim. Look at <laughs> He's slowing me down. <laughs> Ready online! I got one too, but nobody cares. <laughs> I'll well remind myself. Cold up there, Jacob. Just hanging what, out. What's that? Don't get too cold. Yeah. <laughs> Bring it down. Hold it. Down. Down. Oh, you lowered it even with your... Yeah, I just left it on there. Yeah, you're, you're a madman. So yeah, usually it is good to just set up, like, like if I were doing Tim's tree, I would set a block and lower everything, but this tree, I only have a handful of limbs to lower, so I don't really want to set up all that rigging. I just run my own rope and just lower a few limbs down, you know? But if I have to do a lot of rigging, then I go and set a block, port wrap, all that, because it's just way more consistent. I like a balance and mix of natural crotch and you know using a block if, if i were in tim's tree I'd... i'm a big natural crotch guy yeah yeah you are yeah you are the king of natural crotch so is he gonna feed the machine with the machine or i think it's all hand but uh the wood or something something like that you feeding one down i i got one to cut yeah yeah if you're lowering yourself do it no, I can... i'm just dropping it oh um yeah screw it <laughs> I love the handle on this, like the the side handle. It's so comfortable. I'll probably cut a few more little ones, Randy, and then just hang out for a while. <laughs> Don't you dare cut all you can. Juiced up because I got I had Cinnabon on Saturday. <laughs> I still feel that high. I got that 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 Cinnabon high. The Cinnabon high. No high like it. No, no. It's addicting. I've never done hard drugs, but I imagine it's what it's like. You never done hard drugs? <laughs> no. Sorry, I thought you were a man. <laughs> I thought you did tree service. I thought you were a tree guy. I did hard drugs this morning. <laughs> if you're talking about I that, I took a big old. But no. I took a big old hit of bean juice, bean water. Yeah, I did. It's addicting. All right, I'm gonna go help these guys chip because I'm I'm being pathetic. So the SMH10 is good up to four people. And the 33i is good for more than four people. I think it goes up to eight or something like that. But that's the only benefit to the 33i is you can do more people. But the, the SMH10, I think is actually more reliable. I, I prefer the SMH10 and it's cheaper. And, and it's better in the rain. Yeah, you can work hard though. Hyper climb. 
Go ahead and let it on down. Oh boy. You guys already have so much to do, you know? Oh, I feel the same way. Bring it on down. Two man that out, want me to help the caboose? Yeah. You're all loose. Beautiful. Okay, once again, I'm not hitting you, Randy. No, I, I, like I said, no big deal if you are. Dude, I love this 2511. This thing's awesome. I'm ready. Even if it slips out, I'll catch it. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna buy one of these 2511s. I I'm not saying I should, but I just know it's gonna happen. I think you're going to as well, but, but, uh, but I'm pretty, I tell the future about you quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're probably gonna get ported too by Redbeard Sauce. Yeah, man. It's just a guess though. Randy Domus. After all, why shouldn't I keep it? <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Lord of the Rings in right now? <laughs> I shouldn't I keep it? I shouldn't, I mustn't. My precious. It's mine. <laughs> I don't know when to cut this. I got one on. Cut it right now. You want two man this out there? Oh, uh, that's fine. You got, you're sure? Yeah, we don't. You're an animal, dude. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I got the caboose. Yeah, it's, it's gonna make it better. Randy, you ever noticed some climbing lines, they like take a lot of damage when you rig yourself with them? Yeah. Some just really eat away at it. Like, and some last forever. I'm sure it has to do with like the strand and the jacket and all that stuff. I think it has to do with the amount of, of rope that's in the rope or something. I don't know. Like I have this Edelred rope, this bucko stuff, but it just like is delicate. Yeah, this is hyperclimb by Samson. It's doing good. It's nice in the device, not that stretchy. I think I like it. Some branches, but I won't. I might hit you. Uh, I said, don't worry about it. I told you, I got them.
This is kind of cool. Look, this branch tore out a while ago. Look how gnarly it is in there. You can really see the branch collar. It's a kind of a special spot in the tree because it's like the, the tree puts a ring on and the branch puts a ring on and they overlap. Kind of like if you've ever seen people that fold the two phone books together, you can't really pull them apart very easily. So like, look how deep that gouge goes. Something, something probably busted off up there and then ripped this one off. That probably took a lot of force to do that. That's probably gonna fill up this round, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna go dump? Yeah. Hey, Let's... Tim. Yep. Do you want me to dump this or do you wanna dump it? I'll go dump it. Okay. That way we can get his tree done. Yeah. yeah. You're an animal. Gonna reclimb it? Yeah, of course. That's so awesome. I would be like, go ahead and redump it. I'll be here all day. <laughs> he doesn't trust me in his truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, okay. I get that. That's <laughs> answer. Oh, uh, you're doing some, some fancy stuff? I'm gonna do two and one because they're right next to each other. Oh man, I don't want to say it, but that looked pretty manhandleable. <laughs> <laughs> like you could just ha hang on to that. <laughs> yeah, you should have just tossed that to the chipper, dude. <laughs> That, oh, that went right in between your legs. No, oh, it knocked my spur out. All right, here's a bonus, bonus present. I hope you're hanging out up there for a while. It's gonna take me about 30, 45 minutes to get that, that gas and oil <laughs> filled up. Yeah, but it's the quality that I appreciate, you know, not the speed. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna mix every little ounce. Yeah, I know you'll fill it to the tippy top. Hey, Randy, is your GoPro rolling? Yeah, do you want me to turn it off? No, can you tell the camera about the handle trick? when you go over there? Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, folks. You listen up and you listen up good. <laughs> Randy's talking. I'm talking. No, this, uh, not a lot of people know about this trick on the Echo 2511. As you take that out on the top, because these things are a bugger. It fits in there perfectly. It's like, and then you lefty loosey, ready tidy, but it's a lot, a lot easier than trying to use your nimble fingers or sausage fingers to do that. Yeah, that, those caps get super tight. That's a bugger. That is straight up. It's probably it's probably hooked on it too, huh? Yeah. 
Okay, I won't be walking under there anytime soon. There's a hanger. <laughs> Go ahead and let it rip. I'm running on these sockets. I have a oh whatever. Uh, I have the Haas. Yeah. Do you use that? Are you gonna use those to go back up? Yeah. Awesome. Do you have a spike sender then on your on your no like on your spurs? Do you have a uh oh I'll put this on oh, you just put it over. I wore the same thing over. I didn't know if you had some people have this on their spur. Yeah, that's cool. I haven't done that. They're so nice, man. Especially like for this tree, you know, just some rig. I'm not, I, I haven't been repelling. You're just standing. That's gotta be nice when you're just standing. I haven't had a pair in like four years though. I don't like doing groundwork in them though. I really don't. No? Not really, I mean. I just don't like doing groundwork. <laughs> I'm uh, about 90% sure I'm gonna go buy that dump trailer after this job. Really? Yeah, cause it's like 20 minutes from here. That's. That's, I love to hear that. That's awesome. Yeah, because I've got this like $8,000 job I got to hold on. Who am, I, who am I kidding? I should just ask you, hey Randy, what am I going to do next? <laughs> well, you're getting the dump today, right? Yeah. So your next move is probably going to want to be a machine after the dump trailer. What machine am I going to buy? Hmm, see that's... I just, I have a hard time because I'm not out where you live. I think a big machine would be pretty killer because you have that air, that space. Like, hmm, that is true. I do have a lot bigger yards than Unimclaw. You have like a way more, like, you know, no one's gonna, like you could turn in a barn around in a yard or, you know, take people are probably more likely to take a, a fence panel down because of the bigger yards. Well, the thing is too, if I got like an excavator or something, like I can still use you for your mini skid. Yeah, you can use me. <laughs> oh, stacking them. Stacking them for daddy. Dad, my dad's here? <laughs> Dad, you went, has the milk expired? You went out for, <laughs> you went out for milk. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> If I knew where everyone was, I'd say, do you want me to go make a Cinnabon run? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I know there's brush to drag still, but I could sacrifice myself to go get Cinnabon. <laughs> Are 
you're gonna go up that littler dog leg and then top out the big one. <laughs> oh, you're cut it. Never mind. Oh, I You ever been hit with brush, like hard? Yeah, not like, just enough where it hurt, but not like injured. It hurt, yeah, I've been hit too. I've been knocked down pretty tough. It feels like you get punched in the back. Yeah. It did not feel good. It's not a great, I mean, it's like kind of like a massage for me, because I'd- Yeah, of course. All right, I'm gonna top this thing. What are you doing? Um, I'm kind of on the back side of the lean, so I'll... Oh, with a strap? Yeah. These straps are so handy, man. Okay, so this is awkward. I'm on a, it, it leans out like this. I don't want to go in the house, but I don't want to stand on the underside of this dog leg. So I'll actually use this. It's like these zipline straps are so handy. And I'll actually pull it over like a little tag line. <laughs> <laughs> Those ducks are laughing at you. Nice job, Jake. Thank you. So I'm gonna just chunk like 10 feet off of this and then I'll take the rigging for Tim. So I, I lost the stump because the brush is over it, but Randy reminded me about it. When the wood hits the wood, it, they bounce like crazy. One more! Yeah, feed it. Sick. All clear. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what I'm here for. Throwing my body in front of logs. All right, now Tim's rigging off my spar. <laughs> this truck's full again, though. This is the second time it's filled up, so. I mean, while this cool is truck, I mean, the, <laughs> this cool is truck. While this truck is cool and relatively inexpensive, if you've already got an F-350, it has filled up twice. So Tim had to come out of the tree and go dump earlier. Now we're full again, so it's gonna be three loads of chips out of here. It's still pretty cool. It's just these are these are super brushy though. Super. I mean, these are like at the top where Tim's at. They're big branches. I'm I'm a little I'm kind of the behind the scenes guy, you know. Randy's my editor. <laughs> you hear that, folks? Randy told the guy that he works with that he edits my YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> he totally believed me. He's like, no way. I'm like, yeah, I pretty much took over for the other guy who's been sucking. <laughs> yeah, right. Probably why you see a lot more of me. I just put my, I'm phasing Jake out. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, that thing's getting twisty. Big piece of wood. Swinging. I'll put it with this guy. Hold it down if you want. Wrapped all the way around. Just like this back. Making my way downtown. <laughs> Walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Oh, geez, wow. I really knew the words. Yeah, I've seen white chicks a lot. <laughs> you know, that Terry Crews until he does it. And I need you, and I miss you. Dude, it's getting kind of hard holding this rope, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry. No, it's it's a big tree. I could never do a tree of this size. Do you think it's easier rope walking or spurring up? Uh, it all depends on 
this would be easier spurring up, but if it was like at an angle or something, at an angle or absolutely like monstrosity of stupid bark, then I'd or really knuckly. Yeah, then yeah. rope walking up like 40 where does, feet. Where does he want to drop the wood at? Uh, where are you dropping the wood, Jake? I don't know. I think right there. Probably right here. Okay. Maybe this might be a good barrier. Like he's going to fire with it, so this might be a good barrier okay. to keep it from going down that way. Is he going to be dropping this rig line? What's that? Dropping I'm, I'm, my guess is he's probably going to be dropping the rig line. I'm going to have you pull up my 500 first though. He's, actually, I'm going to go get his 500 and probably pull it up on this first so you can have it. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. That way he doesn't have to, I mean. Do you want to grab that now? Uh, after he's there, I gotta, I'm got. i holding this, I'm sending his slack. Or, you're going to, cool, I will be back. It's right in the backyard already. Is it gas and oiled up? Yep. Wow, you're taking my job. on the spot so he has so, to do it every time. Have cone? He has a million subscribers. Yeah. So we need to hold him to a higher hold level. Hold him to a higher standard? Yeah. All clear. You're the clearest you've ever been. <laughs> Alright, I need to get in there. You're making me feel like a, a worthless piece of... Yeah, you're clear as, ah. clear as all get up. I'm going to catch this one. <laughs> You guys know Bolins? Know how to tie Bolin? People ah. usually, when they know a Bolin, they know how to tie, but I ask them if they've ever seen a Dragon Bolin. Have you ever seen a Dragon Bolin? No. So here's your regular Bolin. That's the Bolin, right? Looks like one. And here's a Dragon Bolin. <laughs> Everyone laughs at that joke. <laughs> Does it help you when I tell you if you're clear beforehand? All right, I will, uh, I'll keep doing it then. I'll just narrate. Jake pushes the log, log hits ground. Man running in, <laughs> The <laughs> he looks around. There's an absolute animal going in right now. And uh, now, <laughs> another absolute savage going in. <laughs> Someone's under, but you're clear, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jake, will you give us a second to fluff it up? Yeah, here comes Mr. Beast! Uh, we're rebels. Get it, Randy. <laughs> Throw it on my shoulder? Yeah. I never get to see this part. <laughs> I never did groundwork. I, was, I just started as a You've climber. never done groundwork? No. Oh, man. I started as a climber. I, oh. I've just done it. I started as a climber, but I've done it my whole life. I've been on the ground a year. I've been a foreman driving a truck for a year. Like, I've been powering all the aspects of it. So. Yeah. But this is the hardest part. Nice. Out of the hole. Yep. Tar Nation. Clear. Keep them up like that. Oh, turned out nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Cut through my hinge. And the, what's that? We had to bring those wedges. <laughs> nice KH wedges available at Sappy Supplies. I did cut through my holding wood for a second. It felt like the tree was grabbing my saw. I was like jiggling the saw, like, come on, come on. <laughs> Husky 592, 92cc saw, supported by Redbeard saws. This thing rips. Back. I got it. <laughs> well, let him go. It's the good stuff. Let's see if you, you think you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Cocktail. And you'll not spill a drop because you never have what? Co cocktails and oh. my friend. Dude, I've never spilled bar oil before. You got it on the power heads. I'll give you the extra dollar <laughs> for that, that, that wastefulness. Dude. <laughs> never happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. That's how you do a tree job. Yeah, thanks for having me out, Tim. Appreciate sure. it. That was, that was fun. You can check out 
veteran tree service, not tree care, veteran <laughs> tree service. Yeah. He's on YouTube. He's been on YouTube for five months, so he's he's just he's just starting out. Yeah. He's just a pup. <laughs> come, check, come check it out. It's yeah, some go, pretty crazy stuff. Go check him out. Either it's cool or people will say it's dangerous. But as long as you guys are watching and subscribing, that's cool. Hey, those aren't those aren't mutually exclusive, you know? That's true. That's true. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, thanks, Tim. Thanks. And thanks for coming out, Randy. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. Thank you as well, Tim. I huh. appreciate it. <laughs> there we go. At home, Rez, I never, I never said goodbye to you guys. <laughs> so, I got home late. I was, I, uh, I bought a dump trailer today. I see nothing. It's all dark, but... I bought a dump trailer because I got a, a big job coming up. I got to haul a bunch of wood, so. Yep, just got home. It's kind of late, but it's also winter, so the sun goes. It's like 7 o'clock right now, p.m., but. Yeah, please like and subscribe. I'll show you my new dump trailer later, and I'll see you guys later. Check out cybersupplies.com.